Travis Kels is ready to switch his nickname from the Chiefs to the Eras Tour. Well, look, we spoke after the Super Bowl, and I asked him, are you going to take off for Sydney? And he seemed interested. Travis's father, Ed Kels, said in an interview with the Sydney Morning Herald on Tuesday, February 20th, he said he'd really like to see Sydney in Singapore, but he wasn't sure because he has commitments. Earlier this month, a source exclusively informed Us Weekly that Travis, 34, will be joining Taylor Swift on her tour and traveling with her, after guiding the Kansas City Chiefs to victory in Super Bowl 58. They are happy and eager to Ed, for his part, informed the Sydney Morning Herald, that he will not be joining the couple for the tour's foreign dates, which begin in Sydney, Australia, on Friday, February 23rd. I almost went to see the Eras Tour movie, but that thing was like three hours long. That's a little much for me, he said with a grin. Swift 34 will perform six performances in Singapore starting March 2. Ed noted that Travis and Swift 34 will certainly experience some challenges in their relationship, but the couple seems a good fit together. They just need to find their way together, he said. Travis and Swift's affair began during the Eras tour, when Travis attempted to give the pop sensation a friendship bracelet. Swift later said in her December 2023 Time Person of the Year interview, that she and the athlete started hanging out, shortly after Travis discussed the bracelet with his brother Jason Kels on their New Heights podcast. We actually had a significant amount of time that no one knew, which I'm grateful for, because we got to get to know each other, she said. When I went to that first game in September 2023, we were a couple. I suspect some people believe they saw our first date at that game. We'd never be insane enough to force a first date. Travis had already been abroad to support his girlfriend during one of her Argentina tour appearances in November 2023. Swift offered the NFL player a special shout-out during the show's climax, changing the lyrics in Karma, from Guy on the Screen to Guy on the Chiefs. The couple was also seen having a beautiful backstage kiss after the concert. I was blown away. The show was even more electric, knowing that I had a little more to enjoy it for. Travis exclaimed on an episode of New Heights later that month. Taylor totally ripped it. She was the one who murdered it. She seemed to be having a good time up there. Swift, for her part, continued her first round of overseas tour appearances in Tokyo, by heading to Las Vegas to watch Travis compete in Super Bowl 58. She watched the game in a stadium suite with Ed, Travis's mother, Donna Kels, Jason, 36, Jason's wife, Killy Kels, and other celebrity friends, such as Blake Lively, Ice Spice, and Lana Del Rey. It's been nothing but fun, Travis stated of his friendship with Swift, during a pre-game interview with Tracy Wolfson of CBS Sports. We've both been learning about this lifestyle, knowing that I introduced her to the football world. It's been an unexpected ride, and I've been having a blast. Taylor Swift and Travis Kells have made a heartfelt charitable gesture by sending a signed jersey of the Kansas City Chiefs tight end. The jersey, which featured autographs from Kels and Swift, was auctioned off to benefit the Gelf Wish Fund for Children, a nonprofit that helps children in Ontario, Canada, who are dealing with serious illnesses. Fans had disputed the validity of Swift's autograph. The generous donation was part of Lenamer Corporation's silent auction at its annual Curl for Kids Winter Bone Spiel charity fundraiser. Despite some doubts about the validity of Taylor Swift's signature, the jersey raised an incredible $21,000 in online bidding, displaying overwhelming support for the charity and its cause. The shirt is accompanied by a beloved photograph of the couple's embrace, following the Chiefs' triumph over the Baltimore Ravens. Ravens in the AFC Championship, Swift is shown wearing a red sweater, representing their support for each other, and the philanthropic initiative, while Kels wears an AFC Championship jersey. Concerns over the legitimacy of Swift's signing were addressed by the charity, which released a comforting video confirming the jersey's genuineness. Despite questions voiced by some fans, the enormous response from supporters, 
highlights the importance of the charity's work and the impact of Swift & Kels's generosity. In addition to the Swift & Kels jerseys, other memorabilia including as jerseys signed by Patrick Mahomes, Kobe Bryant, LeBron James, and Michael Jordan were auctioned off, collecting approximately $34,000 for charity. The event raised an astonishing $125,000, demonstrating donors' generosity and the efficacy of funding.